Hi everyone, it's Mads from Denim and Blather and I'm here with Dean Castronovo from the Dead Daisies. How are you? I'm very good, my friend. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. Awesome. <laughs> so, we're here in Glasgow tonight in Scotland for the opening night of the Dead Daisies World Tour. Yeah. Um, this is your first gig with them. How are you looking forward to it? Oh gosh, uh, pacing. It's been awesome. <laughs> I'm just ready to go. We've had a, a, a lot of rehearsals, a good two and a half, three weeks of rehearsal, so we're ready to go. It's gonna be great. And, you know, it's been my first show with the band, so I'm super stoked. It's gonna be great. So, um, you're the newest member of the band. Um, how did it come about you joining them? That's a good question. I actually got a text from um, from Doug saying, are you available um, in the next couple of weeks? I'm like, yeah. He goes, well, how, when can you come to New York? I'm like, now. So, um, they flew me out. I met the band while they were doing the writing, and, um, Within three days after that, I was in Nashville recording the record. So it came pretty quick, pretty excited, man. That was cool. So what can we expect from the Dead Daisy show tonight? You're going to hear all the songs that we did. A lot of the songs that we've done off the, um, the new record, Burn It Down, obviously. And then uh, a lot of the older stuff, which is great. It's, it, and it's power packed. I mean, this band definitely brings it. So I mean, I've seen the videos and stuff and watched them. And it's, it's going to be pretty amazing. And following on from obviously Brian Tishy being in the band, um, how have you had to approach the like playing the songs live? Have you done it similar to him, or have you changed it up a bit? Yeah, I I haven't deviated from what Brian did. Brian's an amazing drummer, big shoes to fill. So I wanted to stay true to his parts, you know, and and make sure that they were you know exactly as much as I could exactly how he um, you know would approach them. So yeah, I, I've stayed pretty true, definitely. And as you mentioned, um, the new album Burn It Down has just been released. Um, you obviously joined the process kind of late with that. Are you, yeah. Like, how are you pleased with the record? Oh, very, very pleased. I mean, when they gave me, when they told me that I was in the band and I watched the writing, they gave me the songs that they were going to record, and I went home for three days and just listened and studied and listened, and so it was pretty seamless coming in. I knew the stuff and I knew kind of where they were going with it, and with Marty Fredrickson's help, you know, the producer. You know, he guided me in, in certain spots, and it was great. It was really, really great how it worked out. It came out really good. Okay. And obviously, as well as the um, world tour, you're coming back to the UK in the summer to do some festivals. How are you looking forward to that? Oh, totally. I think my son, who plays drums for Wednesday 13, he's going to be over around the same time, so I'm hoping to, to meet up with him, which will be really cool. Yeah, it's going to be great. I love the festival shows. They're always so much fun. And obviously, um, a lot of people know you've got an amazing voice as well. And obviously, you played with Journey and Hardline, Bad English. Yeah. Um, or can we expect to hear some of you singing with the Dead Daisies? I'll be singing all the backgrounds. All that high stuff, that would be me. <laughs> that would be me. So, yeah, it's going to be cool. And how does playing with these guys compare with, obviously, some of the other great musicians you've played with? This is definitely a unit, a band, where there's not like, even though they're all stars in their own right, it definitely comes as a cohesive unit, and that's huge. You know, with Journey, you know, we always wanted to look at Neil Sean or Jonathan Cain or Arnell, of course. Um, with this, it's it's a band, and you know, that's the beauty of this. It, it's there's no one guy you're gonna watch. You're gonna check out the whole thing, and the sum of all of its parts. It's gonna be great. And obviously, you've worked with Doug before with another project, Revolution Saints. Yes, ma'am. Um, what can you tell us about that? That was a great um, a great situation. It came about with Serafino, the president of Frontiers. You know, saying, would you like to do a solo record? I'm like, well, not really a solo record. Maybe we can do a band. And he mentioned Doug Aldrich and Jack, and it was perfect. I'd known Jack since I was 17. And Doug, I'd known from the Whitesnake tour when Journey was out with Whitesnake. So it was another another seamless project. Came together, the chemistry was right. And I would imagine we'll do another a third record and hopefully do some shows, you know, as long as it doesn't, uh, you know, conflict with uh, Dead Daisies. And you recently did a duet with Issa called Sacrifice. Yeah. How did you enjoy doing that? It was awesome. I mean, I didn't get to see her. You know, it was in the studio and they said, well, here's the part you're going to sing. Um, Alessandro Del Vecchio was the producer. And uh, so I went in and, and sang the parts. And I just actually heard the finished product a couple of days ago, about three or four days ago. And I was like, it came out really good. Really well, happy with that. Thank you so much for chatting. Have a great show tonight. Thank you, my friend. Make sure you check out the Dead Babies and come back to Denver Blether for more. But before I go, um, yes. we have a little present for you. <laughs> Oh, treats. Oh, I love you. I'm a cookie freak. I, I love sugar. I love cookies. It's Coca-Cola and cookies. That's my mainstay. So thank you so much. I will be enjoying these before the show and definitely after. Bye. Thanks, guys. Take care.